U.S. military carrying out a show of force, sending two Apache helicopters over the embassy in Baghdad as a warning. Good evening. I'm Steve Atkinson. And I'm Kimberly Hunt in for Lindsay Pena. The move comes after hundreds of protesters attempted to storm the embassy. As ABC's Serena Marshall reports, the Pentagon is preparing to deploy additional U.S. troops to the region. This is a security checkpoint to the U.S. Embassy in Iraq, set ablaze, smoke billowing from the embassy gates, glass smashed. Tear gas and gunfire in response. Just a pane of glass separating American guards from the hostile crowds. Angry after weekend airstrikes by the U.S. that reportedly killed 25 militia members. That was in response to a rocket attack in northern Iraq, which killed a U.S. civilian contractor last week. That attack led by an Iran-backed Iraqi militia, a U.S.-designated terror organization. There were threats to the oil facilities in Saudi Arabia, uh, and there were threats to our facilities uh, in Iraq. Um, we've seen them all play out, and the last one, unfortunately, uh, resulted in the death of an American. President Trump describing the attack as being orchestrated by Iran, tweeting, we expect Iraq to use its forces to protect the embassy, and so notified. But the response by the Iraqis outside the embassy markedly different compared to earlier this year, where police met anti-government protesters with a heavy-handed response. This time, dozens of protesters made it into the so-called secure green zone, allowed to pass by Iraqi forces through a normally fortified section of Baghdad, right up to the embassy gates. As uh, invited members, uh, not just our military, but our whole diplomatic presence is there at the request and the approval of the Iraqi government, they have an absolute responsibility to ensure that there is no breach of security. Iraqi security forces eventually arriving, pushing protesters back. But now the U.S. military sending additional forces to Baghdad, Marines being deployed from Kuwait, Apache helicopters flying overhead, flares fired as a warning. President Trump spoke with Iraq's prime minister today, and a State Department official tells us there are currently no plans to evacuate the embassy. Serena Marshall, ABC News, Washington.